What's up guys, here is Claudio from Visual Model WordPress Teams and in today's video we're gonna learn how to use the image gallery element from the WP Bakery Page Builder WordPress plugin. This is a famous premium WP Bakery Page Builder made for WordPress with lots of add-ons and options and in today's video we're gonna learn how to create an, an image gallery using this plugin. First of all, we're gonna move to our WordPress dashboard so we can add some page. In the latest video that I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here, we did learn how to use the single image element from the WP Bakery page builder. And in this video, we're gonna be using the same plugin to add the image gallery. We're gonna move to WordPress dashboard, page, add new, Click on WP Bakery button. From for start, I'm gonna be using the backend editor, and next to it, I'm gonna be using the front end. You click on the plus button so you can see a list of the elements, and I'm gonna click on image gallery. The image gallery settings pane is gonna open, so you can input the widget title, for example. I'm gonna be using gallery. The gallery type, that is the style of the gallery, I do recommend the Naval slider, the auto rotate, that is the loop option, and if you click on the green plus button, you're gonna select the images. I do recommend that you have on your media library or upload image with the same size and same format. Always use the image with same size to make the gallery look more professional. Set the image size for full. Now let me change the layout of the raw for something with some offset. Just to make the gallery elements does not occupate the entire page layout. I'm gonna be adding some spacing to the raw just to look better on the preview and have a look. This is what we have. You can upload the image from media library or for external sources. You can edit the auto rotate. You can edit the gallery type, you can apply some custom CSS effect for the load. This is the grid option, that we see the images on the grid, and if you click on it, you're gonna open a light box, where you can navigate to the image. In the size, you can apply a custom size, in the case that you want. And now, let me just enable the front-end option of this plugin, in the plugin settings, so we can edit the page directly in the front-end. So we can see the result immediately, as soon as we edit, with no need to preview. The same process, page, add new, click on the page builder button, and now we're gonna see two buttons. Click on the front-end editor, and now we're gonna be creating our gallery using the front-end editor. The same process, we're gonna click on the plus button, apply the image gallery settings, element, give some title, select the, style, the, the image gallery style, input the image from our WordPress media library, Make sure that the image have the same size. As you can see, the quality is too bad because it's set as thumbnail. We're gonna type full, save change, and you're gonna see the image with full quality. Now I'm gonna play a bit using the front-end editor so you can see how easy it is. Now I'm gonna apply this layout into some column layout. Something with three columns. I'm 
I'm gonna drag the element and drop into the middle section and apply some content to the first and to the last column. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below and a card over here for a video tutorial where I do explain how to use icons. That is the perfect option, like icon boxes for sections like this, with where we have the image in the middle and content sections in the left and in the right sections. All fast and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to use the comment section below and don't forget to check out the visualmodo.com portfolio of amazing WordPress themes with features to create layouts fast like this. And I see you later guys. All the best!